Hi. So it's been a couple days since I have made a video and one of the concepts in my Qigong lineage um, that was brought to me very early on was the relationship to, um, to posture, feeling, and mental states. Um, meaning that this posture has its own body felt feeling and its own mental states. This posture has its own physical feeling, its own mental states that come with it. So as I've been showing you practices and postures to get deeper into your feeling felt sense, I wanted to address also um, the mental practice. As in yoga, they say the practice doesn't stop when you leave the mat. So taking those ways that you've adapted to stay in your body and feel what you're feeling, I want to bring that to the topic of communication and information. So if you are just looking for the feeling felt sense and the um, physical practice, I invite you to watch me as I discuss this. For when I'm speaking from within my body and when I leave my presence to convince you of something. So, I think the best way to share this is to share the story of how the idea to make this particular video occurred to me. On Saturday, I wasn't feeling very strong in my ability to be helpful or inspiring to others. And I decided to turn off my computer and spend the day in a down tempo without taking in other information or addressing concerns, my personal concerns. And I found myself listening to a radio podcast of a very thoughtful and inspirational writer. And she was speaking in such a soothing voice and sharing her personal stories. And in her personal stories, there was a transmission of what it means to be human. And, and I felt empowered and light and a strong sense of loving as I listened to her. As the show ended, the radio announcer came on, alerting me that Trump would soon be on speaking to the nation, followed by an advertisement for stories on what could go wrong and how it's gone wrong. And I immediately felt within my body 
the response that occurred with these two changes in informational field. One, this loving um, and honest sharing of what it meant to be human. And the next, this kind of angst-inspiring reporting voice that we are receiving on a regular basis um, from outside and also from our friends. And I was sharing this experience on a phone call with my daughter and her father. And in that phone call, my daughter expressed that yes, she knew exactly what I was speaking of. And her father, who's a very loving and compassionate person, did you see me just leave myself to convince you that he's loving and compassion, compassionate and from my body I can express. He's a very loving and compassionate person. And that expression when I give it in my body doesn't just go out to you. It comes into me and reaffirms that. Okay, back to my story. So her father said, I've never experienced that. I've never noticed what happens in my body when I listen to information or say watch a scary movie or um, make myself available to more alarming conversations. And I felt like I needed to share the way that you can monitor your experience from within your own body. So that would be knowing what you're feeling in your body. And yes, even if what you're feeling is tension, leaning way back on that always is anchor to whatever degree you've created it in your, for yourself. And I'm going to show you to the best of my ability what tempo change or a field change feels like. And I'm going to do that through how I've tried to and um, within myself express something and then contrast it with what I would like you to start to notice in the communication and information that's being shared with us. And many of us have a subconscious awareness of that. We hear somebody speak that's made us feel inspired, that's, that's had us feel cared about, that's, um, that's given us information that did not come with any form of disempowerment. So we often notice that and say, that was a good talk. That was a good person. And I would invite you to consider 
that even good people can present us with challenges to staying with ourselves. And in being aware at how and when that happens, and being honest with our personal motivation for giving and seeking information, stepping away from motivations of finding agreement or motivations of manipulating for that agreement and stepping away from gathering information that I call fire hydrant information. Information that does not bring us into the capability of being ourselves, staying human, and having good medicine to offer others. So, if you can just for a moment feel what it feels like having listened to this talk, feel how you feel in your body having listened to this talk. Take a couple breaths. And then I'm going to let you listen to what it feels like in your body to hear this. It's looking increasingly likely that the Fed will once again artificially keyword there influence our economy and the reason has nothing to do with your economic well-being let me tell you what's really going on here folks but we're going to begin our newscast tonight with reports of another threat to america uh, those um operating the computer i couldn't really stay um with my own feelings to express that um, transmission to you of what of what happens for me and I also don't want to impart that but what I would like you to start being aware of and including in your practice is what draws you out of your body. What makes you feel pushed? And how that affects your availability to be medicine for others. This isn't meditation. This is just being to the best of our ability and to borrow the words of my Qigong instructor. I guarantee you, you can do better. Have a beautiful day and blessings in this now and always.